Hey, it's Jim with MeasureQuick. I wanted to go over one of the most important features of MeasureQuick and really probably the whole reason why we built it, and that is benchmarking. So you can see here I have a system set up and running. Uh, I've got a profile that's 410A, 400 CFM per ton, 13 to 16 here with a TXV. If I go into system info, you can see it's a ton and a half. I want you to notice right at the top here that this system has not been benchmarked yet. And uh, I have the target subcooling, which I got off the label down there. Uh, I do have my uh, profile in for my electric heat. So it's an air handler, the electric heat. And then I've gone through and put a little bit of information in about the system. Oops, excuse me, about the uh, uh, type of system it is. So it's a split. I've got the models and serial numbers put in. I've got in the, um, some photos here of the equipment. And then let's go take a peek at the project here. So you can see if I go back. Um, I did name my site here, so we're at TrueTech Tools today. This is the, the main office is on there. And you can see I don't have my measurements in yet. Now, I just haven't submitted my measurements. I'll show you this just uh, for interest here. If I hit the back screen here in home, uh, you'll see if in the electrical here, I do have the air handler data captured. And I always recommend you just go ahead, as soon as you start the system up, capture the air handler data. You want to wait a few minutes for the system to stabilize, and that's what I have, the condensing unit's actually streaming in live. So I want to wait till the condensing unit reaches its uh, stability before I capture the electrical data, because the more work we're doing as the system runs, the more work we're doing, the condensing unit watts will creep up on there. And so we want to capture it and get an accurate representation of the SEER um, while we're doing that. So now I've got everything up and running here, and let's talk a little bit about what these targets look like. So you can see I've got my suction line, superheat, my subcooling, uh, everything is, is uh, in the target zones. Um, return air is a little bit low, it's 66 degrees in here, that's cool. Supplier, wet bulb and dry bulb are in the target ranges. Electrical all looks good. EER looks good on the machine. So everything looks like it's pretty well running the way that we expect it. And you can see there that the, uh, the targets are close, um, but this initially, this initial guess this initial profile is just a guess. We actually have to take into account all the installation variables of the system. So I have a, a line set of a certain length, I have a lift, I have the charge that I put in it, so it calls for 19 degrees of subcooling, I'm actually at 20 degrees of subcooling. I have the duct system that's attached to it and the airflow. And so what I want to do now is benchmark this system so that once I have it set up exactly the way I want it set up, that every technician in the future coming out will use this benchmark to evaluate the system performance. So you can see my, like my high pressure is a little bit on the, uh, my target is a little bit you know, right on the threshold there. If I go in here, you can see I have um, low load on the evaporator and that's about all I have and I'm bouncing in and out on a low sensible capacity because again, we don't have much load in here to work with. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and benchmark that and here's how you benchmark. You plus the plus key on here and you put set benchmark. Now you'll notice that the target's all lined up. So now my subcooling, my liquid line temperature, my high and my low pressure, all that data lined up. And if I go back into the information now on the system, you'll see that it's benchmarked now at the top. The superheat and the subcooling targets are locked in. My total external static pressure now went from 0.5 to 0.43, that's locked in. So now going forward, when I come back out to diagnose the system going forward, that's where it's going to really help uh, all the technicians. So if I go into the project now, go back into measurements, save the data, and uh, I'm going to dismiss this for now. Up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a cloud. I can save that data to the cloud. You don't have to pay a dime to save that benchmark to the cloud. It will be available for the lifetime of the system. Anytime you want to access that, you'll see it now says product, project data saved. If you want to use advanced reporting features, you can hit the unlock, unlock, it's going to process. This will unlock, this will allow you to add your company logo to a report, add in some uh, photo documentation, do some, do some additional things on the job site. Now, if I save this data, and I'm just going to hit exit and exit and sync, it's going to sync to the cloud again. And now I'll show you how we'd pull that up if we were going to go back out and service this job again. So now, when I go in, I select the type of test I want to do. I say, use cloud data. Now when that comes up, I find the site 
that I want to work at. In this case here, I'm going to scroll down. I hit True Tech Tools Main Office. Select that site. It pulls up the model and serial number of the machine. I would verify that by looking at the model and serial number. Start the project. And now when I go in and take the measurements, all I have to do is capture my electrical again. But let me show you here what's going on. So now my targets, all my targets, are right within the ranges that I would expect to see. So this allows us to very accurately troubleshoot the system, make sure that uh, you know our diagnostics now, we'll just clear this out. I'll just hit clear on the stability here. Again, we have low load on the evaporator, and that's about the only fault that we have, but otherwise, if we cleared that low load fault out, you'll see there's no system-wide issues detected. That low load's just sort of a notification on there. So this is really the most powerful feature of MeasureQuick because it, it baselines your company so everybody knows exactly how a piece of equipment is supposed to operate. And when we benchmark it going forward, we can be very, very assured that the diagnostics now are gonna be much more accurate because we know exactly what the pressures, temperatures, superheat, subcooling, static pressure, and a host of other readings should be compared to the day they were installed. So really this is uh, you know, one of the, the most powerful features we have and it's something everybody should be using. Save that data in the cloud, whether, you, uh, you know, whether you're gonna use it now or not. Your data is your data. We don't sell your data or use your data. Uh, you can read the terms and conditions on that, but this is uh, probably one of my favorite features of MeasureQuick and something that you all need to be aware of and really should start to use. This is Jim with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.